Our next guests have found the best places in America for some really wet and wild vacations. Please welcome our travel correspondents, Lori Green and her husband, Peter Gutman. Okay. Now tell me one thing, before we get started, how do two people know if they're suited to travel together? Well, I guess it really boils down to the three E's, eagerness, energy, and enthusiasm. And you don't have to have lots of them, you just have to have them in equal amounts. And they're not married. What about, <laughs> what about packing? <laughs> that was the last segment. Oh, I see. <laughs> Lori and I have been traveling around the world for 10 years now on assignment, and uh, we've been bushwhacking through the jungles of Papua New Guinea and slithering through the penguin colonies of Antarctica. And Peter was, has been in about 140 40 countries or more, and I was on all seven continents by the time I was 30. Now, you write. I write. You write, and you write. take pictures. That's right. <laughs> so now, it's a great combination, right? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. We okay. get to travel. Symbiotic away. relationship. Okay, now tell us about what, what you've got for us today. Where have you been? What's happening? Sure. Well, you know, with the advent of autumn only a couple of days away, we wanted to prolong the pleasure of summer by kind of whetting your appetite with some of the moisture-laden adventures that we've found that are kind of unique. So let's go over to Lake Powell and uh, glide along the houseboat uh, lake here that straddles the border between Arizona and Utah. It's one of the most spectacular wildernesses that you'll find on the planet with surrealistic sandstone cliffs that loom overhead that have been carved by eons of erosion. It's an extraordinary place. Oh, if you go to the next, the, image, next, the next one. Uh, I think you can see some of these amazing buttes that hover above the water. And it's really a spectacular place, very remote and inaccessible. Yeah. It's so inaccessible that Butch Cassidy hid out in one of the canyons, and they named it after him, called Robber's Roost. Really? Yeah. Well, what are the activities you do on the, on the lake? Well, actually, one of the great things about being here is that you really wind up feeling like Huckleberry Finn. You're your own captain, you're your own cruise director, you pick your own ports of call, and you have thousands of inviting box canyons and beaches and coves beckoning. An incredible place but to you see. you travel by boat, do you? Yes, you travel by boat. And I think in the next slide you'll see some of the activities, which include kayaking and fishing and canoeing. What, what, what's happening? Is that Peter that strapped to a tree? <laughs> <laughs> That's a friend of ours jumping into the water. Oh, okay. And actually, we'll tell you about him in a few minutes, but... Um, well, a guy, he looks like he's, in, he's not having a good time on the trip. <laughs> <laughs> but, the um, ducks look like they're even leaving. <laughs> Here you can explore ancient Anasazi Indian ruins and... Um, you can hike to natural bridges and arches. It's quite an adventure and very, very romantic. Yeah, where and now where do you eat? Uh, sorry? Eat, sleep? What do we well, eat? Where do you eat? Where do you eat sleep? sleep? We want to know about okay. the practical okay. things. Well, you, you, eat, eat and sleep you eat and sleep on the houseboat. There are a few different bedrooms in the houseboat. And believe it or not, we went with um, two other families. And the place was so romantic that one of them, the one that was jumping in the water if earlier... If we go to our next slide, we, we can see some of the beautiful see. romantic yeah. setting that you can oh, pull into. Great. One of the families conceived their son aboard the boat. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> well, it's quite an extraordinary thing. So you eat on the houseboat as well? eat on the houseboat. There's a kitchen. There's Let's all the Let's move facilities. on to the next location, though, okay? All right. All right. He's eager. Peter, you're eager. <laughs> I am eager. Well, battleship, battleship. Peter. I couldn't wait yes. to get you here. This is for yeah. men. Yes, let's go to sea. Now, what do you have to do? Join well, up the Navy help. for this? No, you don't have to enlist to experience naval life on the USS Massachusetts, which is, Massachusetts, which is docked in Fall River. I think in the next image you can see that everything here is absolutely immense. The ship itself is two football fields long, and the guns are so big that they're capable of ejaculating a ballistic load the size of a Volkswagen for a distance of over 25 wow. miles. They're ejaculating a... They sure are. <laughs> In the next slide, you'll see that not everything. In the next slide, yeah, you'll see that not everything is so gigantic. Um, There's Lori on one of the smaller gun turrets. Yeah. And I think uh, you'll find in the next slide. Incoming. That... <laughs> Wait a minute. This is a vacation. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Can you see? There are a lot of kids, 18 years old, have had to go through this. They didn't think it was any vacation. <laughs> Well, you know, one of the fun things about being on this ship, at least for those that never tasted military life, is to be able to have uh, your chow in the mess hall right. and do KP duty. And as you can see, bedtime is an off-the-wall experience. There we were lying like sacks of potatoes in the bowels of the you ship You can't get there. breakfast in bed there, though. No. No, you have to go to the mess hall <laughs> for that. Mess no. No. You it sure travel, do. It doesn't travel no, out of its no, port. It's it just totally stays That's station. one of the great things about it. You don't have to look for your Dramamine during very bad weather. And our next, and our next destination, you uh, have to... Well, well there we are, parked in our driveway at Jules Undersea Lodge, and the only way we can find our bedroom is to strap on scuba tanks and head straight down Wait into a, a lagoon. You're not going to tell me I have That's to carry next. all my luggage underwater, too. Oh, you most oh, certainly do. And you can see over. Lori's just arrived in this uh, lagoon that's filled with parrotfish and barracuda. And uh, in the next image, 
That's that's, that's how me you, that's, getting my luggage that's, down. Just the, that's the exact amount of luggage you can bring, and that's it. Although there was a birthday cake brought also because it was Peter's um, 40th birthday underwater. He now, turned 40 underwater. What does it look like once you get down there? Yeah, well, it's the an next extraordinary picture. place. There Here you is. can see. What are we watching? 20,000 leagues under the sea. Aptly named because we're several fathoms uh, down yeah. below. And what do you eat? Sushi? <laughs> Well, you cooked lobster. sushi, that, lobster. That bellman turns into a chef, and you eat. You and actually eat lot. He makes you a lobster dinner. You guys are terrific. You got to come back and tell us some other strange, we, great we'd vacations. Love to. We, we would love absolutely. To. Thank, absolutely. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Stay with us. We'll be right back.